welcome back to the Women in Hunt series here at Academy Sports and Outdoors. I'm Cameron Thompson. I am the product line manager over our camo clothing line. Um, we are here with... I am Whitney Reed, and I'm from small town of Oklahoma. Um, I'm a teacher, and I have been a part of Buck Ventures Pro Staff for three years. Awesome. Well, welcome. Thank you so much for your time and for connecting with us. We're really excited about this new series. Um, really, so how did you start hunting? How did you get into this world? I mean, I was probably three years old. My dad took me before I could walk. So I've been hunting for a very long time. Um, my dad was the one that got me into hunting. So he would take me whenever my mom wasn't home when she was at work. He said, you know, we, we couldn't afford a babysitter. So I took you hunting with me. And so, yeah, I've been hunting for my whole life, really. Oh, that's awesome. So do you remember that first hunt as a kid? I think I was seven years old whenever my dad killed the first big deer ever I was when I was with him. Um, it was on Thanksgiving day and I got to miss the Thanksgiving dinner that evening because um, it, it was kind of a longer track job. So. Um, I got to track the deer with them all evening. My mom was not happy about it, but I was on top of the world because I was tracking this deer with my dad and it was a great time. Uh, we ended up finding the deer. It was one of my dad's biggest that he has ever killed and I got to be with them. So it was really special. What a good story to like pass down to the generation <laughs> and everything. So do you remember your first hunt out in the field? Yes, my first hunt that I ever killed a big deer was youth season and I took my rifle out. It was actually on a school day. Uh, my dad always let me miss that morning. And I shot uh, my biggest buck ever. And then I also shot a doe. And I got to go back to school and tell all my friends about it. I was like, I shot this big deer. And a lot of the boys were jealous. <laughs> that was the hunt that planted the seed in me where I was like, this is what I love to do. I'm going to do this forever. So like, how do you feel that hunting has overall shaped your life? How do you like truly identify back with hunting? So I've been doing it my whole life. So every weekend, you know, that's what I would be doing during like October, November, December. So honestly, I think it kept me out of trouble a lot of times when I was a teenager. I was learning things from my dad like all the time. Um, you know, he was teaching me how to carry the gun, how to clean a deer, how to track a deer, how to identify what a deer track looks like, things like that. I just feel like I was learning so much more than just deer hunting. So he would teach me a lot of life lessons, <laughs> really. That's awesome. So do you see yourself passing this tradition down to your family now? I don't see my life without hunting ever. So definitely going to be passing that down to my kids one day. Thank you so much for all your time and everything. Um, it was great getting to, to meet with you and talk with you and everything. We appreciate everything y'all have done for us, all the Buck Ventures women. And well, I guess guys, that concludes our series of Women in Hunting. Um, thank you guys for following along and we can't wait to see you guys again during our next series. Thanks, bye.